Hi everyone, this is Yen Camus from Bliss Climbing and today I want to catch up a little bit with the new D4. Well, it's not the new, but it's the it's one that's out of the shop in Durango Sewing Solutions. Um, so it's the big D4, portal edge, and I will show you how I mount it and dismount it. I want that ledge. Perfect. I want that ledge. Um, I did not practice so much. Uh, I checked it out a little bit, but now it's kind of, let's go, let's do that video and see how it goes. Right on. So, first I always have uh, this carabiner here. Okay, this carabiner with uh, Ropeman 2. I clip it on my high point. Uh, let's clip it right uh, there. Okay, and then pull. So I'm suspended on a single point, and that's it. Uh, I will do everything while suspended. So I'm on a big wall, and there's rain coming up. So the bag is great. Uh, it opens easily. I set it up inside so that the fly is permanently attached to the ledge. And let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, so I pull on 8 mil rope to get that up. Then it's out of the bag. I know that I have my keeper carabiner here, always in the same direction. and. The way I clipped everything, uh, the, um, the bag is clipped to, the high, uh, to the, the high point there, as well as the top of my fly. And so that enables me, okay, this drops down now. So because they are both attached here, the bag will stay attached to the high point there uh, with the fly and so the fly doesn't come out uh, it stays in its pouch in the bag and that way if it doesn't rain I can keep that as is uh, on top of the portal edge I like that idea so I take the bars to the right of the ledge I take the bars to the left of the ledge. It starts to self-assemble. I take my keeper carabiner back and I clip it to the midpoint on the air side. Let's try to find out like air for me is the red. So the red here. I clip that here. So in the middle of the air bar. And I just try to clip that in front of me as high as possible. Ugh, not so easy. So I will go up in my aider. Now. I take the grigri up a little bit on my rope, then I clip that maybe in my aider, will that be good enough? So you see here that I fight quite a bit, like this should be in the middle, but this is because I did not pack it perfectly, it should be in the middle. So I assemble the air airside bar, the long pole, first I'm used to doing that, then I go down, I assemble the wall side pole, okay, twice, and this 
this ledge has been on the wall and my friend slept on it twice and there's already uh, some stitching that is uh, just um, um, uh, broken uh, where so if the full stitching comes out here uh, everything will be still attached it's the it's just the burly um, fabric that protects the edge of the ledge uh, that uh, would like start to move around so it's not the most important uh, place on the ledge and now I try to assemble one side so here I should know what to do if I'm real so you have to practice doing everything uh, before you go on the big wall ideally so I pull with my foot see my other videos for full how to assemble portal edges okay done then the other side all right put it like that the assembling is so easy now I put some lube in those on those tubings and I think this is very important uh, so get get some lube uh, for your tubes I think it's the Teflon that will keep well in all uh, um, weather uh, just uh, make sure this is the best lube like I didn't research it too much uh, I just grabbed the lube that I had with me uh, and also you should look into how uh, lube could affect nylon so if you know what lube is the best put it in the comments down there please so so I assemble one side of the ledge just the 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 straps I put the straps on there's there are three buckles three straps one two okay and three I don't know for you but assembling ledges I find is a real uh, it's a lot of work um, don't know what you think post down what you think uh, in the description um, but I I would say that uh, it goes much better for now than uh, my previous try with the ledge like my first try with that brand new ledge uh, so for sure practice at home that's the key it's like when you I go rope soloing the first time in my life uh, everything goes wrong and everything's awkward but after you just get used to everything and you fix all the problems then it's it's kind of okay and then I got to go over my ledge like this and stand on my ledge so it's already mounted uh, I could pull harder on the straps but uh, yeah let's try to do that a little bit so so I pull harder on the straps there so maybe I can so I go on the wall side and I pull on the air side strap and I try to put my weight as much on the sides as possible and pull on the center straps and then I go on the air side and I tighten the air side that's done now there's the fin the fin is a two point suspension system so I think it might be lighter because there's less fabric in between and when you're by yourself what's nice is you can go from side to side uh, in the middle okay and that's nice because 
when you go on one side here, uh, it, it does like a win uh, uh, windshield washer machine. Uh, so windshield washers and I, you know, it's not that nice. Mm -hmm. So, so it's nice that you can go through right in the middle, I find. So very nice. And there's pouches. You can put uh, water bottles or uh, bars or whatever that, uh, you know, and you could clip it. Uh, you could clip anything you put there in uh, daisy chains. There's daisy chains everywhere. That's super nice. And now let's see with the fly. So I just pick it up in the bag. It's already assembled. It's ready to deploy. All right. And I put it around. See you after in the tent. So, so I put it as well as I can. Like this, I pass straps. I wonder if the length of the straps are good. I think so. and I push on the wall sometimes to just uh, put the fabric where it should and how it should. Now it's the fabric is behind the ledge. I push on the wall through the fabric and I get the fabric out of there. I put it around and okay now I gotta go take the bag out. like this and now the this out my rope is kind of short for what I'm doing so I'll make it a little bit longer okay so a single rope is my safety system and now it's a single carabiner I could, you know, in real life, it's not even a locker. So for sure, in real life, I'd have a locker and the it would be anchored uh, somewhere really bomber. And that's my, you know, line, life of li line of life. Um, it's so cool to be testing some gear like this. Rah. Okay, that rope I don't care. So now I have more rope. So I can go here. This is where I want to be. The, and I start to shut the fly. Starts to rain, let's say. All right. So it's a little bit tight, but uh, so I'll try to move the ledge around and it's closed now. Perfect. I'm in. It's ni nice that uh, it's uh, a little bit tight because you don't want that the wind takes it off the ledge. There's a uh, strapping in all four corners 
uh, and even in the middle, in the long bars, to make sure that the fly just cannot go off at all. Like, uh, so I will not put those six traps. It would take some uh, time. So, but if you're in a tornado for sure, like I would strap them up before spending the night in the storm. Yeah. That's nice. Take some rope back in my gree gree. And I will now pack it all up. So thank you so much, uh, Francis, for your great brand new ledge. Um, I can tr to let me try it out, and I hope you like what I've done with to it. Uh, so what I do is I remove the fly. Now I need to suspend myself a little bit, or maybe just push the ledge off the wall. Okay, like this. Uh, depending on the angle of the wall, this is vertical, but it could be much harder. So I push on the ledge to take it off the wall. I take the fly a little bit to one side. I just decide. I take it all together. Okay, I take the bottom. I put it in its pouch in the bag. So the bag stays there the whole time. Uh, I just put it with one carabiner to the to the top there where the eight mil rope is attached to the fly directly. And by the way, the fly is attached to the ledge uh, using that uh, eight millimeter um, quick link that's provided with the ledge. Really really a nice quick link. So I put the, I push the whole thing. Uh oh, my rope is tangled. So in a big wall, always uh, stay on top of the organization of things. So I saw that there was a rope going through. Uh, so I just took the fly out of the bag again. And now I push. So I will post this video without uh, speeding things up, without cutting anything. And the reason for that is to let you get a feel of how much time it takes for someone that is experienced, like I've been on big walls, uh, but, with, but not with that ledge. So, you know, if, you know, just so, can give you, for sure, if I practice um, more with that ledge, I'll be faster, for sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do it faster. Um, but it, it, it goes really well for now. So how I will dismantle this, I start with the six straps on the sides, for sure. And I wanted to try to leave those attached actually and just uh, make them loose and just leave them over the bars. So that would make setting up much faster. Let's try that. First time I tried that with a D4, I'm excited. Uh, there's no... The ends of the slings are not soon, so they're made to dismantle them completely. But if I like to keep them like this, uh, I would add uh, some sewing at, at the ends so they don't come off easily, um, if you understand what I mean. So I go, uh, how do I do that? I'll go on the other side of the ledge, right there. I take the rope with me. I put uh, that carabiner back 
on the top top attachment point so I will take the gree gree higher then attach that so like this obviously if I have a ledge it will be much easier than suspended um, then I take apart the, the sides so this is something that I've had trouble with in the past and now it's doing me the same problem no like this okay so the bars the bar is in is it in come on get in okay it's perfectly in and now the way I would do it now I put my two hands on either side of the bar and then I take it apart I have uh, 511 B biceps if that's something and I weight 170 uh, pounds or something and now uh, John uh, Middendorf told me that you you could just go around the whole square and take the bars apart so let's try that so okay this is one this went back in damn so this is something I struggled with with that ledge is uh, I feel like uh, sometimes I have to fight uh, the the frame to come apart but let's try to do it like uh, the better way so I think that I go on one side take it apart then I would go on the other side and take it apart let's try that yes that was super easy and now I take apart the other side super easy I take apart this one here yeah super easy now I get that bar down I believe what I think I should do I take the bar apart like this so I hear some popping so maybe the bars are coming back together I'm not sure and now what I do is I do my uh, spin of the bar like this see my other videos to know exactly how I do it to me this is the key to uh, taking that ledge apart more easily ha. it's not exactly easy so you have to practice practice is key why is it so hard okay okay because I left uh, the slings on the ends attached this one here is uh, making it impossible for me to do that move but now should be okay oh there's this one too yeah so they, they have to stay on the the bars on the ends now it's still hard to take everything apart why stops okay it's yeah I so one side I have to let go the strap in the middle has to come off entirely and the rest is kind of okay is there tension anywhere this is giving me tension so yeah the rest is perfectly okay so just one side I think the middle strap has to come fully off 
but the other five straps keep them together is my recommendation and now I take the wall side bar apart notice that I say wall side air side but this portal ledge uh, can be uh, set on both sides it's reinforced on both sides so it's just for me it's easier to identify the sides and then to uh, use the ledge like this and then there's my carabiner that I put somewhere it's in the on the middle strap so this one has the carabiner I take the carabiner off from there because I will reuse it on one end of the straps the blue strap here so for me it's the wall side and I roll the ledge over the straps like this I take the carabiner that's at the end of a blue strap and I clip it over the full system of suspension here and it keeps everything tidy to get into the bag and also to take it back out well oriented as you know as soon as it's out of the bag so let's go up to put it back in the bag how much time does it take a long time my timer says uh, I've been 20 minutes doing that so my record time with the metallius is uh, six minutes and a half fully out and fully in but without the fly and the fly in the metallius I always kept it separate because the bag cannot contain the full kit this thing here has the fly uh, directly in it and this is so good because when you need it you want it to be ready for use and now I'll try to get everything in the bag so I push everything so that it's tight the bag sometimes I feel should be an inch or two wider because to put it back in the bag when you're down on the ground is one thing but when you're suspended uh, you know it's difficult but yeah the bag is uh, is not so bad right now it's good yeah because I had problems with uh, the prototype of this uh, this thing so now I put it everything in the bag so I clip the bag by itself on my aider here maybe you don't see well okay okay so the bag is directly on the aider and now I loosen my 8 mil rope uh, to get everything in the bag I push the 8 mil completely in the bag I undo the the rope man uh, at the end of the 8 mil and I clip that maybe on one side here and then I close the bag so wow I loved this experience of taking the whole ledge out and here I do a slip knot so it it stays cinched like this and I can even like do like this and leave that out perfect boy I want a D4 from Durango sewing solutions I say that again I want a D4 from Durango sewing solution so help me out out there it's a great ledge I'm so happy with it now I want that ledge Whew. so I put it okay maybe on my harness 
So it's my pig and I get down the wall with my grigri using a blocked rappel, for example. That's my favorite. Thank you, Francis, and thank you, John Middendorf and Barry from Durango Sewing Solutions for that great ledge. See you around. So people listening, please, you like it, subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, comment below, and go see my website, blissclimbing.com, for uh, all my links and everything. Thanks, guys.